Welcome back to another NFL video and Dolphins fans and NFL fans have to be pumped to be seeing Tua back in action and Dolphins fans especially because when he is playing they've basically been perfect all year as they put up 31 points on the road en route to a victory over the Detroit Lions and this was a game where their defense and special teams had them falling behind early they were down two scores but then Tua, Tyreek and Jalen Waddle just went to work. Tua 29 for 36 for 382 yards, three touchdowns, and zero picks. Just a very impressive performance by Tua in his second game back. And Tyreek Hill, 12 receptions for 188 yards. He's actually on pace to break Calvin Johnson's record right now, just about halfway done through the season, but he's on pace for 2,000 plus. Jalen Waddell, he's also on pace for 1,500 plus. So they're on pace to be the best wide receiver duo statistically in league history, and it's looking very unstoppable right now he had eight receptions for 106 yards and two touchdowns so he was waddling all over the end zone today and basically Tua he came into this year with a ton of criticism on him people were questioning if he could be a real franchise quarterback there were so many names being thrown out that people were saying the Dolphins should trade for so they don't have to have Tua and lots of people were doubting him there's very few Tua supporters that I really heard from too much before the season but he has just done an incredible job but proven everyone wrong and at this point it's not even a conversation whether Tua is a franchise quarterback the only conversations surrounding Tua have been all the stuff with his concussions but then as far as on field play there are really no doubts anymore Tua he has just been incredible he has looked very very good all year and as I said I don't think there's a question that he's a franchise QB anymore he's showing why he was a top five pick and he just has so much talent he's just looked so good going into this year maybe he was viewed as a guy with a limited ceiling that can maybe protect the ball maybe not turn it over that was their hopes but not only has he kept the ball well as today he had zero turnovers but he's just been slinging it too the deep ball to waddle and especially Tyree Hill has been working the intermediate game the short game just really all aspects it's been working and he's been mobile as well he's been getting loose getting some buying some time for himself and maybe finding a receiver for a touchdown or just drawing out the play and getting the first down on his own so it's been really impressive to see what two is doing this year and then he's just making taking advantage of those great weapons with Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, and others and that's how good quarterbacks do it they have good weapons around them and they just make that into a very good offense like Tua has you look at the game that Tua the, the games that Tua has played in this year week one they beat the Patriots that's when things were just getting started the Dolphins they also had that insane comeback win over the Ravens week two they had a big win over the Bills week Week three and then Tua got injured in that game against the Bengals he missed the game against the Jets he missed the game against the Dolphins and they lost all three of those games then he came back against the Steelers he was just getting back into it but they still pulled out a hard-fought win and then they won today as well so with Tua they're undefeated they're five and oh they had those three losses with Teddy Bridgewater and Skylar Thompson playing the majority of the quarterback snaps because he left early on that Thursday night football game against Cincinnati but Tua this video is just to talk about how impressive he's been all year and how this Dolphins offense isn't just something with a game manager in Tua. He's taking his shots. He's making this an explosive offense. Mike McDaniel, I think he's doing a really good job coaching so far, and there's still a lot to come. We're just in week eight of the season. Let me know your thoughts on the Dolphins team. They are very legit as they're undefeated with Tua.